Hello students, welcome back to Science Online Classes. I am Jafar Basha, your science teacher. Dear students, in the previous class we studied about the problems created by the activities of human beings. Means we only creating the problems such as the depletion of ozone layer. Not only one, so many activities are there which are harm to the environment, which is destroying the environment which uh, imbalances the natural cycles. So they are leads to the uh, problems to a husband. Understood? So what we are carrying the natural calamities. So there are different different problems uh, created in the nature because of the human beings. So today also we are going to uh, discuss one more topic which are uh, created by humans and that is nothing but the managing the garbage we produce. Means uh, we are producing the garbage. So remember one thing we have to be remember. The waste, what we are generally telling. The waste which is producing domestically. The waste which is producing domestically. So it is considered as a garbage. So this garbage every home is producing the garbage in different different way. In a different amount. Is it not? So we have to be discuss how to manage this garbage what we are producing in our homes so to add to know about the managing of garbage we have to be know some of the points that is uh, first collect the garbage whatever the garbage is producing in our homes first we have to be collected then second one is we have to be segregated segregate means uh, separation based on their properties based on their state based on their moisture so we are separating the garbage separating the waste to what we are producing in our homes the next if it is possible we have to be recycled understood we have to be recycled and at last if it is not recyclable we have to be disposed it in a proper way which cannot be give harmful effect to us and to the environment understood so let me see first we have collected the garbage whatever the uh, waste is producing in our home so we are collecting how we are collecting we are using the dustbin we are using the covers bags and then uh, polythene covers so many different things are there we are uh, keeping at the corner of the house to collect the garbage in our homes okay now we collected the garbage now second step is we have to be segregated segregate means uh, we have to be separate as it is understood so for the separation we are having three main basic points are there. first uh, we have to be based uh, separate the garbage based to based on their kinds means uh, uh, in which form it is uh, present so we are generally having three forms solid liquid and gas there are three different type of uh, waste is producing domestically first one is solid solid means what uh, example some of the our children are using uh, bringing that one uh, snacks uh, biscuits uh, so many things from the stores so the what the wrappers are there so these wrappers is considered as a solid and not only that one the tins of uh, the water bottle uh, the bottles of uh, juice cold drinks so these are also considered as a solid waste then come to the liquid waste liquid waste is nothing but the liquid what we are producing after the washing of vessels means the liquid waste from the kitchen sink and the liquid waste from our bathrooms so these are considered as a liquid waste then next uh, gaseous waste gaseous waste means uh, as we know that one the smoke what we are producing in our kitchens and the leakage of gases so they are all considered as a the gaseous waste understood then next based on the moisture Based on the moisture also we can uh, segregate the uh, waste based on wet garbage and the dry garbage. Wet garbage means uh, the waste which is producing in our kitchen. For example, uh, the rotten bits of uh, fruits and vegetables that uh, uh, left behind the food items. So these are considered as a wet garbage. Then dry garbage means uh, the wrappers, bottles, pipes, plastic, so uh, glass, so these are all considered as a dry 
base. Understood? So if it is not possible, we have to be separate this base from that uh, the properties. The properties are of two types. One is a biodegradable, another one is non-biodegradable. What is biodegradable? Biodegradable means uh, the waste which can be decomposed, which can be degraded easily by the biological activity of microorganisms. So some of the waste which can be easily degraded, for example, organic waste. The organic waste is can be easily biodegraded. So that's why it is considering biodegradable. The non-biodegradable means uh, the waste which cannot be degraded, which cannot be decomposed by any activity, by any biological activity, by any chemical activity, it cannot be decomposed and it will be left as it is for long term. And it can give harmful effects to our environment also. And so for example, inorganic. So like that one we have to be separate based on the kinds or based on the moisture or based on the properties we have to be segregate the waste what we are producing in our homes. Then next we have the third point is recycle. So if it is possible we have to be recycle the waste what we are producing in our homes. For example the water bottles, the plastic cans, the tins what we are bringing from the stores for our domestically. So these uh, cans uh, we can be reused, the bottles also we can be reused, understood? And uh, if it is that one plastic cans are there, if we are cut and if we, are, we can place the plants, the small plants as a potted plants, so we can grow the plants and some creepers or climbers in our domestically to grow as a garden in our home. So like that one we can be recycled, means uh, uh, we can be reused. Understood? Recycle means we have to be send it to that one and we have to be bringing new methods. So, so as a recycle we can use the reuse in our domestically. Is it not? Reuse means so for the same purpose we can use again and again if possible. Or otherwise if it is not possible for the same purpose then we can use this waste for the next purpose. It includes the repurpose also. Uh, recycle, repurpose and reuse. So these are the things are there we can be manage our waste for multiple usage. Understood? After that one, dispose. So the dispose means uh, we have to be finished off of the garbage what we are producing in our homes. How to dispose? So dispose is based on the two properties. One is biodegradable, another one is non-biodegradable. Biodegradable waste we can be decomposed, degraded or disposed easily by putting it into the earth. So it is not giving any harmful effects. So just bury the earth and put it all the biodegradable waste into it. So and after that we close that uh, land, fills the land with the soil and after so, uh, some days uh, all the waste which we are poured into the earth it will be degraded and it will convert it into nutrients which is very helpful. So we can use this nutrients for our growing plants. So based on that one only, the biodegradable waste is used to prepare the compost. So not only this one, it is also used for the wormy compost. So the compost and what we compost we can be prepared easily by using the biodegradable waste so which is very helpful for the growing of plants and trees. So we can easily degrade it. It is no problem. It may be easy, useful to us for the growing of plants and trees. Then next come to the non-biodegradable. The non-biodegradable is uh, having different different types. As I told you, some of the one uh, to dispose the non-biodegradable waste we have to be think for the reuse, repurpose uh, and then uh, refuse. First we have to be refuse it, then if it is not possible to refuse take it but you have to be reuse it. Use, uh, instead of uh, using multiple uh, covers, uh, you have to be use the same code for the multiple uh, uses. Understood? First refuse it, if it is not possible at least you have to be reuse it again and again for 2-3 times then if it is damaged you can throw understood so when it is not usable you have to be dispose it 
uh, in a good way means in recycle understood if it is possible you have to be recycling it so these are the methods for the disposal of non biodegradable waste understood so this is all about the the managing of garbage producing in our homes hope you understand most important we have to be think these waste when it is the time of managing the disposing it should not be give harmful effects to anyone in the environment or into the human being so it should not be give harmful effects so like that one you have to be carefully dispose it understood thank you very much